This month, we're going to be covering the Vault Force Decks. These Force Decks are a great tool for us to create a collect objective measurements as we pre prepare your athlete or your patient to return to play. Um, really important to have that raw data and to check for any possible asymmetry, check for possible fatigue, see if there's any weaknesses along the way before we place your clients into a more stressful situation such as practice, contact, and then competition. So for this month, we're going to go over four tests that are available through the Vault Force Dex. Uh, the first one today we're going to do is for upper extremity. This is going to be the push-up test. Just a nice way to really collect some data about just overall peak force. We can break down that force by the concentric phase as well as the eccentric phase, and then compare asymmetries, right? Think about your patients that may be um, returning to play, return, trying to return to their sport, or just recovering from a shoulder surgery or a shoulder injury. This is a great way for us to really have some hard data to see, hey, maybe one side is still a little bit weaker than the other side, or maybe the asymmetry is not a concern anymore. I always like to think when I'm returning to sport, I'm looking for about a 90% strength in the affected limb compared to the non-affected limb. When you're within that 5% range, that can be normal due to just dominance in handedness or dominance in legs, right? You think about you know, if someone is right-hand dominant, left-hand dominant, if they're a thrower or overhand athlete, or when we look at the lower body and lower extremity, um, you, uh, when you're jumping off a single leg, such as in basketball, you're, you're, you're going to find your clients that may have more strength in one limb over the other or a bias one limb over the other. This may be due to compensation or actual weaknesses. So going into the push-up test right over here, we're going to get started. I'm going to set this guy up. Standing on the plates just to measure the weight. Now we're going to aim for five reps for this push-up. We're going to set up my hands right in the center of the plate. Make sure you're nice and steady between each rep. And there you have it. We're going to send this data over to the Vault Hub, which is a cloud-based service. That way we can instantly view the results, see what those strength numbers look like, and get some hard data to see if we have that asymmetry from side to side. So here we have the force trace for the push-up test I just performed, right? We have five reps right over here. If we scroll down, we can see some nice information concentric peak force, asymmetry from side to side. We can see that I was biased a little bit towards my right arm, eccentric force, and asymmetry as well. We do get a wealth of data from the Vault Hub, so we can always manipulate what variables come out, what measurements we want to, we want to have populate this report. So it's a really handy tool just to create some numbers and some goals to set for your clients and your athletes.